the last one in this is the this is the one that is uh, for us as a trade union but particularly regarding is um, what has happened to unemployment in South Africa. Now, stat Statistics South Africa, um, as head of research, we do a lot of statistics and you can do a lot with statistics. So you can see when someone else is trying to manipulate it. And that is what st Stat South Africa is trying to do uh, par excellence with the unemployment numbers. So now you've got the uh, narrow definition and the broad definition of unemployment. And according to all research articles that we've read, South Africa should be using the broad definition. Uh, the moment you've got a discrepancy of almost more than 6% uh, between the two and you've got long-term unemployment, then you should not be looking at the narrow definition anymore. So what we do every single time Statistics South Africa gives out the unemployment numbers, we go and calculate the actual unemployment, which is unemployed people as long, along with discouraged work seekers and then long-term unemployment. And that puts South Africa closer to 43% unemployment. If you, if you take that into account, what, what should particularly worry us is that if you're a discouraged work seeker, the average, I think two thirds of discouraged work seekers and um, long-term unemployment people have not found a job in more than 12 months. So that means for 12 months they've been actively looking and they, and they can't find a job. So we've got a, an economy that is simply not fulfilling the needs of uh, the country that it should. We've got massive unemployment and you've got a government whose sole answer to this is to try and spend more on on uh, on grants and get grant us out of this and uh, along with this you're hitting this economy with an energy uh, crisis that uh, truly no one else in the world quite <laughs> has experienced to this level um, we've obviously looked at international examples and everyone had an energy crisis at some point but no one has been in one for 16 years without any uh, proper solution as south africa has uh, proudly done uh, uh, regarding south africa's labor situation the, yes there are very, several factors that contribute to unemployment uh, we're one of the few trade unions that vehemently argued against the minimum wage for example saying this just doesn't make any sense uh, quoting leon Lowe, previous director at for the foundation saying the true minimum wage is zero and that is what you're creating is you're creating a desperate amount of uh, young unemployed uh, most of the time black people who cannot get into the labor market because you're making it too difficult. Uh, they need to start working for, at this moment, it's almost 5,000 rand a month, when uh, quite frankly, they, they just do not have the skills to get that going, but you can't get them the skills because they don't have the income to get the skills. So you're just dooming them to a lifetime of poverty without being able to get out of it. And that explains the really brutal xenophobia because uh, then foreigners come in and they're not, uh, they don't have to adhere to these regulations and suddenly they get jobs and then they do what every normal person wants to do is they want to better themselves with what means they have at that point and that's why we think government is, is setting south africa up to fail with its labor legislation quite simply um, we can we've, we've got a demographic dividend that's the the good part about a higher reproductive rate is we've, we've got a massive working class population and other countries have successfully employed these people and then you can uh, invest in long-term if you want to social welfare programs but that ends badly but in long-term infrastructure that generates more economic growth but you need to make sure that you're actually harnessing the demographic dividend and we're not doing that at the moment by having most of these people not in employment um, so there are several methods that we can do what we do however see at the moment that has massively increased this is the fact that companies don't have energy stability and if i need to pay diesel every month I'm not going to employ more people, um, even if even if it's necessary. I'm going to cut hours, and that is what we've what we've seen.